Alrighty, folks, welcome to Destroy All Humans, One Giant Step on Mankind. Uh, this is a remaster of the PlayStation 2, Xbox, original, I didn't think it might have even been on GameCube, I'm not sure, uh, classic, uh, action-adventure game, third-person shooter, about being a shitty little alien, uh, invading the, the planet and trying to take it over for your alien overlords. Uh, this game is goofy and a little mean-spirited and uh, is very much of its time and I think you will immediately understand what I mean by that. Uh, <laughs> this is a, a Bush administration game if there ever was one. Um, but it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm a very big fan of this game. I I really dug this when it first came out. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get started. Uh, you will see that I have like a save file going. It's just because I got in game to test my settings. So uh, is there a? Yeah, I guess I can just do this. Uh, are you sure you want to save on this slot? All previous save progress will be lost. Yes, let's do this. You'll recognize some voices. Humans of planet Earth, be advised. While the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of the Furons remains near identical clone. The story words and images contained within may be shocking to the modern human brain. It's nice that they warn you. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? <laughs> I love this like retro stick is 60s aesthetic. I love Five. 60s desert. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. <laughs> the art style's aged pretty well. <laughs> Competent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <laughs> <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! <laughs> I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him... Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. 
Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this <laughs> is one of those times. <laughs> Which? The second one. Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some cranium. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. <laughs> patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Not Earth, no. So, uh, the, uh, the main character, Crypto, is played by John Grant Albrecht, and, uh, Pox is played by our good friend Richard Stephen Horvitz, uh, of Psychonauts, Invader Zim, and most recently Jedi Survivor fame. That's Turgle. <laughs> All right, so here we have the uh, various uh, different uh, menus we have. This is kind of how the game works. We go through all these uh, different menus, select missions, so it's level-based, mission-based. It's going to be a lot of different uh, different little challenges we can do. We have all these tutorials and yada yada. Don't care about that, really. There we go. Oh, we have skins. Pulp Crypto. Krampus Crypto. Dang, look at them cheeks. He's caked up. Elvis Crypto. Alright, Crypto 137. This is the one we'll probably use. What are these? You got a spooky clown. Another spooky clown. Uh camouflage. Another camouflage. Golden Crypto. Spooky alien crypto. Pulp crypto is kind of fun. Ew, look at his pulsating head. Yeah, I'll go back to here. This is fun. We got an invasion report. This is just our stats. And then we'll have the holopox deck and stuff like that, which is for other stuff. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? So this gets to the game's main mechanic, which is like, uh, I guess, harvesting human DNA and, uh, you know, going around and upgrading your stuff so that you can do it again even better. Oh, no. Splinter says, I bet that's not the only hand he has that pulsates. Get out of here. Zoom. Clam 42 from outer space. I love this like Americana 50s UFO setting. I, I love it. I am such a sucker for it. Like outside of parody, but like e even in parody, it's great. splattered everywhere. <laughs> Ortho box to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? 
Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in <laughs> nipples. <laughs> no, Cryptosporidium. They're covered in nipples. The lactating bovoids. Someone tag the furries. Hey, crypto, do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! Alrighty, we got controls. Look at that. I'm playing on controller. It does have pretty good keyboard support, but... We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains! Moo? Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. <laughs> Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. I love settings where everyone is dumb. They <laughs> eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. It's got a fully rendered butthole. The neurons have evolved the Look at that. astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Curse these creatures. Good work, Crypto! Mmm, Martha! You didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner? Wait a minute! That ain't steak! That's... Holy mother... <laughs> Martha, give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer! <laughs> Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left. The agricultural, oh. the agricultural engineer. What a way, what a thing to call a farmer. You can consume the brain stem and collect the furon DNA. Harold, come on back. You've got to see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like that. <laughs> Little green spaceman! I am not green. He's not wrong. He isn't green. Keith says one member of staff was way too excited to animate the the rendered butthole pooping scene. <laughs> as long as shields have energy, they protect you from harm. A gauge showing the current charge appears when the shield isn't fully charged. When you get hit or touch water, shield de energy depletes. Some impacts deal more damage than others. If not damaged further, the shield slowly recharges after a few seconds. Shield bar turns red when it's out of energy. Any hit could be lethal. Dodge projectiles or retreat from battle until shields begin recharging. Collecting brain stems reduces the shield recharge delay. The saucer also has a shield. To recharge, use its drain ability on humans or vehicles instead. The saucer shield doesn't recharge automatically. Be merciless. Let none survive. 
This was around the time that uh, recharging health w became like a whole super popular uh, mechanic. Like having a shield separate from your uh, from your actual health. Look at that. Wiggly Bimbly says he is blue though. Yes, he is blue. Oh, I don't have a jetpack yet. Dang. I, I vaguely remembered there being one. Oh no, water damages shields. Get out. I need to remember to pop the, the brains out. Good work, Crypto! Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. No. Spaceman. What is oh, that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big arm. Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains <laughs> were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Boo, the right. We gotta stop them. Vaporize them, crypto. There we go. Got my jetpack. Space baby. My radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the Ah, you're under. Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your. There we go. Let's just collect some more of these uh, brains while we can. So one of the cool things here is that the game has like a little wanted system, just like Grand Theft Auto. These were super popular at the time as well. A lot of games around this time were playing around with the mechanics like this. All right, I just wanted to see if the bodies stayed where they were, but they did not seem to. Let's explore around here real quick. Can't go in there. trying to see if there's any collectibles or goodies we can grab but now nah, we're in the tutorial there's nothing nothing super good for us here Wiggly Bimbly says oh no you didn't kill her using a chicken I did not there we go Take now we can en your enter our saucer. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting. Don't love the camera Destroy angle, all but buildings. leave no trace. Bomb those monkeys back to the stone age. Oh, look at how good that <laughs> the smoke looks for whatever reason. That's really kind of interesting. <laughs> all right, what do we got to explode the house? Oh no, the feds. Move out, man! Move, move, move! I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. <laughs> Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them now. Open we can do fire. that. Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans. They did the title drop. They title dropped. Look at that. Uh, do I have anything else yet? I don't. I just Look have out. the death ray. There are more to the north in the bushes. 
Wish I could see better. Replenish your saucer shields by draining any human vehicle. The humans are making a final push. Wipe them out once and for all. Not much of a final push so far. Perfect. Look at that. They can try. They can try, but they'll fail. You. So yeah. Work, crypto. The game lets you access your destructive capabilities pretty quickly. It's actually pretty freeform in what it allows you to do. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Augers. All right, so we, we finished the first mission. Look at that, 80% drown a cow in the lake, kill farmer's wife using a chicken. Oh, I didn't even notice that. So we'll, we'll wanna go back and do that, um, just to get that. Cattle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. Who is the next Miss Rockwell? Find out on page three. Nuclear bomb fallout shelter. Farmer Joe's prize cattle herd, including Bessie, his famous blue ribbon uh, winning Holstein, uh, Holstein, was found dead under gruesome circumstances. Given the scale of the carnage and the lack of evidence to, uh, to suggest cattle rustlers, it is alleged that Farmer Joe's long years on the farm award circuit uh, led him to seek more creative and sinister methods of beautifying his beloved bovines. His entire herd was found... Uh, slaughtered to the last cow and what is the biggest cow related plastic surgery mishap in recent memory farmer joe meanwhile is missing a rival farmer said don't surprise me he did something like this them awards went to his head he always said he'd create the perfect cow <laughs> it's goofy now then i know what you're thinking what can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon <laughs> ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. <laughs> Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves. But with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. If only indeed. You gotta, you gotta probe some cavities to get that DNA out of there. All right. Um. A upgrade, perhaps. No. How about your gun or your abilities? Hmm? Uh, what do I want to do? I don't have enough to upgrade anything yet. Uh, so we will. Re Ooh, I didn't mean to return to the main menu. I meant to return to the mission select. All right. Uh, let's really quickly go back to Turnip Seed Farm. Uh. 
We need to retrieve Furon probes and complete Pox's research studies. Okay, we'll click this. So I can't remember the exact, um, exact thing, the exact way to check, um, what my objectives are. How do I do this? Was there a way to just get the actual mission back so I could try to, uh, to do the, let's see, replay missions. Okay, yeah, this is what I want to do. Mission completion 80%, drown a cow in the lake, kill the farmer's wife using a chicken. We can do this. This will be quick. Oh, Willem the Aunt, uh, subscribed to tier one. Thank you so much for subscribing, Willem. It's uh, great to have you here. All right. And crypto. Do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! Well, we'll do this quickly. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains! Moo? Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. Alright, so we with just have to drown one in the lake. Be simple enough. Then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Um, Good work, Crypto. This looks like a job. Pop his head right off. One thing I want to do really quickly is uh, there we go. Turn this up a little bit. And what else did I want to do? Yes, that's fine. Uh, that's good. Oh. Oh yeah, that's better. I loves my Bessie, but I loves my steak. Bessie, steak, steak, Bessie. Oh, uh, oh Lord, why you make me choose? Extract and collect the brain stem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. You can consume the brain stem and collect the fuel There we go. Today. Skip this cutscene. Now we just got to kill her with a chicken. Let none survive. You want to face the base? Oh, here we go again. Oh. What am I? A horse? Ah. Your Excellent work, Crypto. Space man. Where is the guy's wife? Good work, Crypto. Okay, she's Ooh, talking the to them. Vaporize them, Crypto. All right, now we just gotta uh, get on over there. Kill her with this here chicken. Should be simple enough. Let's see. What? Oh no. Oh no. My radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer. I need more chicken. Oh, there's a probe right there, I think, that we want. Oh no, we just collect these. These are collectibles. Okay. Oh, I see them. There's more of them. Let's just go and do this, I guess. Why not, right? We definitely want to get these things. Alright. Kill the farmer's wife using... chickens. We can try this. 
Willem says, uh, I had to step away. Are you replaying the first level? Yes, I am. I'm trying to kill the farmer's wife with the chicken and then collect some of the collectibles just to get some early upgrades. Why not? It's the blue! Let me go! No. Let me go! Uh, how do I put her down? Okay, that did not kill her. What? No. We need to pick up the chicken. What? Why didn't... What? Why didn't the chicken hit her? Is it? Is it just too... Too corpse-like? <laughs> Let's go grab another one and pelt her with it. <laughs> Wiggly says, stop standing there, woman. Run. <laughs> no, man. Keep standing there. This is fun. This is goofy. We're learning the, the rules of the game. Alright, where is she at? Where'd she run off to? She's still standing there. Good. This is exactly what we want. She's she's so flabbergasted by what happened that she's just she's just standing. There we go. We did it. We got her with a chicken. Drop me now. Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your path. All right. So before we do that, I'm going to collect the brain stems. We don't want to miss out on those. And then let's uh let's try to collect the furon thingies, huh? The the probes. Let's go do that. I don't know how far it will let me go, but while we're here, why not, right? Seemed like they were all lined up in this direction. I wonder how far it will let me uh, explore. God, this game's got such an atmosphere. When I was a kid, I rented this game because I'm old and there were video game rental stores and movie rental stores back then. But uh, I used to rent this game all the time and just play it for a weekend. And it was just, it was such a good game to rent and play in chunks, you know, as a kid before you had the brain to like systematically categorize everything and, you know, go for a hundred percent completion with ease. Uh, it was so good for just exploring a big open environment like this. Uh, Cause yeah, I don't have authorization to leave. Okay. So I can't collect more of the drones. I don't think from here, which is fine. Uh, we'll have to look for some more of them, but. Uh, but yeah, like, I can't stress to people watching how few games were like this. <laughs> like, the the idea of a game where you were just dropped in a map and could run around was pretty normal, but very few games were this expansive in this freeform. Uh, you know, this came out, I think, maybe roughly around the time that Grand Theft Auto... Uh, Vice City came out, maybe? San Andreas, maybe? Um, so, like, you have to realize that this was this was a pretty new thing for, for big budget, you know, like, console releases and stuff at the time. It was... Things used to not be as open and, and, and uh, accessible, I guess, as they are now. So... Games like this, you we really lost our minds over them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, at the time, just trying to trying to contextualize in my brain, like I uh, I played I played quite a bit of this and like Sims the uh, busting out uh, on consoles back in the day just good stuff i mean and this was the the crazy thing is that like this was pretty advanced for what it was but this was like 
this was when I was in like middle school, you know, like not, <laughs> I was not uh, young when I played this. I mean, I was young, but I was not like, I wasn't like literally, you know, six or seven years old. Like this was, this came out late in my, in my video game life uh, upbringing, so to speak. Take a spin in your sauce, Crypto. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting. And yes. Destroy all buildings. Leave no trace. Bomb those monkeys back to the Stone Age. As is being mentioned in the chat, like Simpsons Hit and Run was another big sleepover hit. Uh, you know, you'd go rent something and oftentimes it would be like a Simpsons game or Grand Theft Auto or whatever. Crypto. I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans. It's just interesting to me because like I the the memories I have of this game are m my friends who didn't like video games because back then Look not out. everyone there played video games. Uh my my friends who didn't Rip like video games enjoyed this sort of thing. Uh, and like it kind of speaks to the whole Grand Theft Auto-ness of this stuff where it's like Grand Theft Auto It's popularity really can't go understated the humans uh, are making a final push. It Wipe really changed things <laughs> uh, Where where normal people and uh, you know People who had other hobbies that weren't video games were actually pretty into those uh, and so you, there were a lot of games sort of like this that quote unquote were like at the time seen as like Grand Theft Auto imitators or like Grand Theft Auto but aliens or whatever. Um, you know, all that stuff. Uh, they, they got pretty popular uh, just because of that. So. All right, there we go. We got 100% uh, of the stuff. All right, now let's uh, do Pox's do lab. Let's upgrade raid, some things. Or something a little more personal. Mm. Cognito hazard pattern alpha. What does this mean? I can't get that yet. None of these I can actually buy yet. Okay, so the only things I can get are for my laser. Uh, increase the Zappa cell battery charge. Electric arc chains to a few additional targets. The first targets in the chain take the most damage. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's do crowd control first. And I can't, uh, I can't upgrade that. I don't have enough for it. So we already got all this stuff. Got all the objectives, Furon Pros, Turnip Seed Farm. This is just a bestiary. Furons cannot immerse themselves in water. Too much contact and it burns through the skin like acid. If they don't get out quickly, they'll perish. You go into water once, then you die. There's only one way to avoid getting burned. Total abstinence. Gastro 999. Water drains shield energy. Get out. Human agricultural engineer or farmer. The human is seemingly resistant to outside influences, careful to preserve its opinions, but is nevertheless internally conflicted about consuming the animals it raises. Having a confusing thought process both caring for its edible creatures and eating them, the garden variety human is composed of a weak assemblage of tissue, gelatin, and bones high in calcium. All encountered HAEs are easily pulverized, though further research is required. We ain't so different. They clean up them critters mess. I clean up Mr. Pox's mess. In fact, I'd prefer, I'd much prefer cleaning in more solid waste instead of the liquids oozing out of Mr. Pox. <laughs> military defense units or army. The human military industrial complex is comprised mainly of youths, previously supposed to only be interested in movies, milkshakes, and automobiles. Said youths dress in uniform colors, apparently difficult for human eyes to see, follow orders from a commander, and shoot primitive weapons ordered, when ordered to do so. More research is required to demonstrate whether they may be fueled with a shock of psychedelic colors. <laughs> Army guys think that dirty green is some camouflage. Huh? Don't look related to no bovines to me. Shoot, they're the real little green men. Gastro 999. Uh, let's see, what do we want? These saucer boarding Furon clones are trained to board saucers quickly and without hesitation. Furon drill sergeants will stand for nothing less. Good old staff sergeant Hart Furon. 
Get in or stop hanging around my saucer. Get in or quit, you little monkey piece of excrement. Move it. Those were the days. To board, stand directly underneath the saucer. Furons pride themselves on their highly sophisticated controls, optimized for ideal maneuverability. In my day, you didn't have automatic controls. Ever, uh, ever last thing was manual. Lose your wits, and a giant pop would slap the living daylights out of you. While the ship said, get a hold of yourself. They don't have that feature anymore. More so pity. Each ship in the Furon fleet comes equipped with a standard-issue graviton shield generator. Composed of hexagonal tiles, the system is designed to generate a graviton barrier around the ship. If exposed to any form of energy, the barrier will absorb the incoming effect by depleting the energy provided by the capacitors of the graviton barrier generator. While larger Furon ships can replenish these capacitors independently, smaller ships like the Furon scout ship require external recharge. Which one I'd choose? Is that a trick question, sir? Gotta be either self-replenishing shields or the quantum deconstructor. Kind of cool. So there's like actual lore in this game, which I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Taff just arrived in chat. Hey, Taff. All right. Death Ray, a favored Furon weapon for both mass destruction and planet conquest. It is a standard feature on the Furon scout ship. Certain death is always a useful negotiation tactic. She's a thing of beauty. Sweet disintegration. She don't take kindly to outsiders. That's a fact. Confused is here as well. Hey, Confused. Energy Drain Matrix System. Using a highly advanced energy transfer system, the abductive beam is able to completely drain an object of its energy, repurposing it to replenish the saucer's shields. I prefer a nice session of star bathing to charge up, but needs must. I really wasn't expecting all of this to have lore. Uh, it's a testament to all Furon ingenuity that Furons, with their statistically large brain-to-body mass proportions, can walk at all. The perfect Furon is all brain. Weapons take care of the brawn. Extracting the thoughts of life forms on conquered planets is an unpleasant necessity. Furons do, however, find these absurd thoughts useful when making small talk at social gatherings. Despite traces of Furon DNA hidden within their own genome, humans' thoughts are even more vapid than Martians' internal musings. Furons hypothesize this insipidness is due to humans' tiny brain mass compared to Furon's own sizable cerebrums. Just yank them thoughts out and be on your way. Why waste your time trying to understand them? Psychokinesis. Furon Invader can levitate objects and enemies. Using superior Furon brain power, Furons can throw these objects, using them as lethal flying projectiles. If you're out of ammo, use your brain. For Arc Voodle's sake. Brain Extraction. Officially, Furons harvest a species' DNA and save it for government-regulated use to improve the Furon species. Unofficially, there's a flourishing black market trade in illegally sourced DNA. I was just a fresh clone back in the days of the Martian Wars. Extracting them brains from our sworn enemies, it was real satisfying. Back then, probes were just prototypes, though. Made a right mess. Psi Power Cerebral Counteract. The PPCC ability enables Furons to reset Psi abilities with agility and precision. All Psi abilities are reset when this ability is used, improving efficiency metrics in the field. Around the 700th uh, replication, I started wondering if I really left it on or not. Was I really firing on all cylinders? Was it all in my head? Interrupt any psi ability while mentally linked. This also resets psycho. Okay, so that's how I cancel it. Neat. Zapmatic. This legacy weapon has seen action since the days of the Furon Martian Wars and is still in service today. Powered by the Zapmatic cell battery, it recharges whenever it's not being fired. Just point and shoot. Let the Matic take care of the rest. Personal Energy Shield Matrix. Not even Furons are invulnerable. Their shields need replenishing. Otherwise, they lose protection against wounds, which they could withstand, and against germs on foreign planets. Furons ain't invulnerable, not by a light year. I'm living proof. 30k lives worth of proof. Uh, Alright, focus lock. Man, there's a lot of these little lore things. Psionically enhanced vision augmentation used by Furons to obtain telemetric data from the mothership can be switched to focus mode. With its link to both the invader's weapons and cerebral cortex, focus mode enables Furon invaders to aim more efficiently. Auto aim, there ain't no such thing. Great Arg Voodle's mental prowess and furonically advanced yet incomprehensible technology are all it takes. Focus switch. So yeah, this is just lock on. By a mental psi command sent directly uh, from the Furon invader's brain to transceiver in orbit, the invader can control the focus mode connection at will. With a thought, an invader can quickly lock onto different targets to eliminate the most serious uh, threats quickly and efficiently. The intracellular nanoparticles, that's the key. I mean, uh, what? I don't have the foggiest idea what them things could be. Alert levels. The alert system, scaling from 1 to 4, is designed to assist Furon invaders in real time. Once the alert sounds, the system gives ample time to avoid attracting attention from the barely cognizant life forms on the target planet. Invaders ignore these alerts at their own risk. I ain't afraid of no alerts. Jetpack. The staple of every Furon clone's kit, lighter than air eukaryotic fuel cells, are modified Furon-based endoplasmic reticulum to power the jetpack. 
However, the rechargeable fuel cells only last so long before they automatically shut down to prevent certain deaths from overheating. Back when I was barely replicated, this year jetpack was our dearest ally in the fight against the Martians. Got me out a scrape or two. Fly using the jetpack. When it's out of energy, blah blah blah, you'll descent towards the ground. That's cool. Oh, and cool, we unlock some, like, concept art. Blue Moon Drive-In. That's cool. Oh, look at that. I think on the left is probably the original render, and on the right is the new one. It's kind of neat. Look how detailed this art is. This is so cool. <laughs> I love when old games used to just like have their concept art as an unlockable gallery in the game rather than like making you buy an art book. That slaps. I dig this. This is a this is a really fun remake so far. Really clever.